How's it going? Zach Ragi back at it again with another episode of Toilet Reviews. In today's episode, we're going to be reviewing the Fear of God Essentials Chuck 70 Converse. Before I get into things, just want to give a huge, huge shout out to my amazing and beautiful girlfriend for buying me these shoes for my birthday back in August. Thank you a lot, babe. I really like these shoes a lot and I'm working on them, just to let you know. And also, if you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. I mean, if you like sneaker content and you like what you see here, maybe consider subscribing, click the bell icon, and maybe drop a like and leave a comment. It always goes a long way and is always very appreciated. With that being said, guys, let's get right into the shoes. These were released on March 26, 2020, alongside two other pairs, which are the gray pair and the cream pair. I'll probably put a picture up here somewhere, and uh, yeah. And they were called the Essentials Pack, and you know, let me know what you guys think. Which one was your favorite out of these three pictures I got going on here? And you know, obviously this one's my favorite, but obviously because I'm making a video, but off topic. But you know, since the demand for these was so high, they did sell out like quite fast, and you know, they did restock multiple times alongside other Essentials line right. clothing in July and August. And they retailed for 110 US dollars or 140 Canadian dollars. These shoes were not easy to get at all. And you know, for obvious reasons such as right. resellers or other devout Jerry Lorenzo fans, you know, they were on them like crazy and who can blame them? I mean, these are a classic silhouette. They're so versatile and go with like everything almost. So to collab with a hot brand like Essentials, Got it right this time. Um, you know, it's like the cherry on top, so I don't blame you guys for ruining my time because I tried three times to get these back in March, back in July, and back in August, yeah. and all three times, guess what? I didn't get it. Although I wasn't able to get these for retail, resale wasn't too bad at all. They're not too far off from where the retail price jumps off after tax, so. If you're after a pair, don't worry, resale isn't too bad at all and probably will continue to drop eventually in the near future, so hang in there. Getting more into the shoes, the official colors for this shoe are black and egret. And if you're just as confused as I am by the word egret, it's actually just a fancy word for cream. So black and cream is actually a staple color combination for Fear of God and Essentials, so it's no wonder they slapped it onto this shoe, but those are the official colors we got going on here. The black color wraps around the upper of the shoe and also can be seen alongside the midsole and the branding on the heel while the tongue, laces, and midsole are the egret color. Out of the entire Essentials pack, these guys stand out to me the most. It's just so simple and clean and you know, it just goes with everything because of how versatile the colors are and just makes it stand out from a regular Chuck 70. Although these may seem like a regular Chuck 70 upon first glance, there's actually a few slight differences which give the shoe a bit of a more premium look and feel to it. First things first, for some reason the canvas used just feels more premium in my opinion and it feels like they've used a thicker cut of the material which I first noticed around the collar area. I've never owned a pair of Chuck 70s before this one so I compared it to the materials used on my old pair of Chuck Lowe's and the difference is drastic. As opposed to a regular pair of Converse that feature mainly just canvas, these shoes actually feature a tumbled leather tongue. The leather used isn't premium, but I absolutely love this feature on this shoe because of how subtle it is. It gives the shoe that premium look to it, and also feels a little better on the foot when you lace up as well. Also, having the leather is a better long-term option as opposed to having the canvas, in my opinion. In terms of sizing, general rule of thumb when it comes to Converse is to go half a size down. So normally I'm a 10, but I went down to a 9.5 for these guys and they fit me perfectly the way I want them to. These shoes do tend to run a little narrow, so if you're a wide footer, I'd say maybe try it through to size, but best thing you can do is to go try them on in store if you can. Also, the midsole is done in classic Converse fashion, but has a glossy finish which really adds to the premium look and feel of the shoe, and we still have that classic Converse vulcanized outsole. They add a nice little design touch there with this little loop at the back of the shoe, which allows the laces to wrap around the ankle a lot more comfortably, and this is not a feature on the original Chuck 70. I like this look a lot because it gives the shoe kind of these Rick Owens vibes, and the way the egret laces contrast with the black upper is very clean. Only things I will mention that I dislike is that it covers the Converse logo that is definitely just a money grab feature that isn't entirely necessary. In terms of comfort, these shoes do have a cushioning setup in place, but isn't really anything to brag about. The 
foamed insole used in this shoe is plush and provides a good step in comfort. As you can see, there is a thick layer of foam in this soft rubber compound to provide more stability without sacrificing too much comfort. This insole sits on top of an ortholite footbed to provide a longer lasting cushion to the shoe. Compared to my Converse Lows, the cushion in these shoes are a lot better and the difference is very noticeable. Ever since Nike bought out Converse, the cushioning in the shoes have been improved a lot and for Nike to do that is crazy because Converse haven't exactly been known for their comfort at all. It's been known as that shoe that ruined a bunch of old basketball players' knees and you know, I'm all for it. I love it because, man, having cushion in the Converse is an added benefit and it goes a long way as well. But despite how much I like it, I gotta say, it's not the best out there. There are still shoes out there with better cushioning setups, but just know it is better than most. The Essentials branding is very minimal and not so in your face and obnoxious like a certain pair of CDG Converse that are floating around out there, if you may have not already known about that. But anyways, it's, you know, I like it like this. It's a lot better. It's one of those if you know you know type situations and that's what I prefer over the giant heart staring at you from the side of a shoe. So there you have it. The Essentials branding can be seen on the left heel of the shoe here while the right heel has the classic Converse branding. There's also that Essentials branding on the insoles, but and that doesn't really matter. No one will see that anyways. The shoes come with a special edition Fear of God Essentials cream colored box and not much to go over here. It's a simple box and it was designed that way, but I will add that the shoes also come with another set of cream laces. Overall guys, the Essentials Chuck 70 is an amazing shoe which gets a score of 8 out of 10 and you already know gets a Zakharaji stamp for approval. This shoe is the embodiment of simplicity is beauty and everything from the way that the shoe is crafted all the way to what makes it unique for a regular Chuck 70 is what makes me love this shoe and want to wear it more than I already do. If you're still on the fence about buying a regular Chuck 70 or buying one of these guys, let me break it down for you guys. So buying a regular Chuck 70 would be buying like an iPhone 11 and buying these guys would be buying an iPhone 11 Pro. So take that with a grain of salt before you purchase. Let me know what you guys think about these shoes in the comments down below. Do you think it's a regular Chuck 70 or do you think they're entirely different? Sound off in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. Now with that out of the way, it's time for hashtag Zach Baragi. What's your rock? So today I got a pair of... Nothing. Because I got no plans today and I'm not going out. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And click the bell icon and join Zach Baragi Notif Gang. And quickly, I just want to say, we officially have just hit 100 subs on the channel. Yes! Can add some party effects here just to spice things up. But anyways, thank you to everyone that was involved in the process. I couldn't have done it without all of you guys. All the support and everything you do for me for the channel really goes a long way and it means a lot to me. Thank you guys a lot. But anyways, guys, I'm signing out for today. Peace.